Right, I'm going to try and show you quickly how to make a self-watering container which is a very water efficient uh, way of watering plants. So here we have a big storage container which I was very lucky to find by the bins. I was looking for one of this sort of size with a lid um, of a darkish colour and I didn't find one but then I found one in the bins near where I live so that was very lucky. And how you do it, so we've got a big container here, I've got a few bricks in there and essentially here's the lid of the container which I've cut two holes in in order to accommodate these two plastic colanders. You could use anything with holes in but these seem to work well. And the lid has been cut down to fit nicely inside the container as opposed to going on top of it. On the right here I've got a tube which is an old tube I got out of some rubbish. Now that's where you'll pour the water to top the water up which will sit in the reservoir at the bottom. It's got a uh, dishcloth at the top and bottom. The one at the bottom is to stop it getting clogged with soil and what have you that might fall down into the reservoir. Uh, the one at the top is to stop insects, mosquitoes, etc. going down. So just remove that to fill it up with a watering can when ready. Uh, cut that off. Place colanders inside the holes. Now what we'll do is we'll fill these up with uh, any old normal soil, tightly packed soil, we'll wet that down. Then we'll fill the rest of the container up with nice compost to feed the plants. We've got some tomato plants here and one little butternut squash. They should have all been planted out really by now. Um, but I was waiting to create this container. So all we've used to make this is one large storage container. So I got for free, luckily, but you can buy them for a few quid anyway. Uh, a couple of colanders. I actually purchased the one on the right for £1.50. That's an old one my mum doesn't use anymore. Got the pipe out of the rubbish. I, had, I brought these. Uh, they're about a pound for a six, so I've got a few of them spare. Now I washed out the container with a bit of soap and water first, and then wiped it with a bit of hydrogen peroxide, which disinfects it. So in, if there was any... Uh, bad diseases are in there, sore diseases, that they should be killed now. Uh, wiped that down with a cloth, washed it out with soap and water and that scrubby thing, measured the inside with the, with the uh, tape measure, and I cut the holes and the lid down to size using my pen knife and a pair of scissors. Probably not ideal, but that's what I had at hand. So there you have it. And there's the compost I'm going to put inside. Some cheap stuff I got from my local authority. That was two pounds, 40 kilos, uh, 40 litres rather. And some more expensive stuff, six pounds for 60 litres, um, which is special, especially for growing vegetables. So that's how you make a self-watering container.